sure all of you have heard someone say that a receiver has hands like glue. Well, cornerback Lester Hayes doesn't have hands like glue. His whole body was. Lester Hayes quickly became one of the best corners in the league, making five straight Pro Bowls and winning two Super Bowls. His best season came in 1980 when he had 13 picks, the second highest single season mark ever. So what was Lester's key to success? Well, one word, Stick'em. Stick'em was an adhesive used by football players in the 70s to catch more balls. Pause. The first player to really become known for his use of Stick'em was Hall of Fame wide receiver Fred Belitnikoff. Well, in 1977, Fred would introduce his new teammate, Lester, to Stick'em. And Lester took the substance to a whole nother level. He didn't just put it on his hands, he put it everywhere on his body. I mean, he was addicted to Stick'em, and the results kind of spoke for themselves. That being said, the NFL, understandably, hated it. Footballs would constantly need to be replaced because they were just a sticky mess. And actually, by 1981, Stick'em would be banned, as the ban would be referred to as the Lester Hayes rule. So this was quite the sticky situation for Lester. <laughs> and while he might have felt like Stick'em was his secret weapon, it wouldn't matter. He would make the Pro Bowl in each of the four seasons following the ban.